thank you for uh, this opportunity to let me explain in some way a regional case here, which in, um, presents maybe some peculiarities that also within at least the Italian context, which has been so aptly uh, presented to us by, by Flaminia. I, I will be talking about uh, the, uh, today's northernmost uh, province of Bolton Bolzano uh, or Sud Tyrol, South Tyrol, Alto Alge, as, as it's as it called. You, you see by the bilingual names here, that's a, a multi ethnic uh, plurilingual region as well, uh, which is uh, uh, bordering to Austria and, and Switzerland, and which is uh, dealing. Uh, with a dark legacy of two dictatorships, not only the Italian fascism, but as well the German fascism, the Nazism. So there are uh, 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 two issues here at, at, at stake. I'm going to share my uh, screen uh, with you in order to uh, have some evidence here. And um, um, to, 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 to get a sort of, of virtual uh, tour uh, as far as it is possible online, of course. Uh, so what makes this uh, a regional uh, case possibly interesting for our discussion here? Uh, borders, um, going to the second slide, borders, and this is a, a, a great uh, quote by David Patrick Karakos, uh, the, the, the British journalist and author, borders are places of tinnitus, they hum with unresolved history and trauma. Uh, I uh, used uh, uh, this um, uh, sentence um, because it, to me at least, it, it encompasses very well the setting of this uh, border regions as this one is, of course. Uh, and, and also other ones, uh, which present uh, a, a very peculiar setting. They are critical zones of distress, uh, political one, social one, identitarian one. And, and uh, they uh, produce uh, a, 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 distinguishable, a distinguishable sound I think, and so let us investigate this sound by posing posing some questions and possibly to 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 answer them too. Uh, this, yeah, you see a, a newspaper from uh, the the period long time ago. The Dusche and, and the Führer uh, met on the Brenner. Uh, Pass which uh, is uh, connecting um, Bolton Bolzano to, 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 to Austria. Uh, so it, it's introduced. Uh, uh, I would like to explain my, my issues and, and, and also the, both the flags of the two dictatorships. There. My is issues here under, under five headings basically. First of all, a, a little bit about the regional affairs, being uh, the uh, South Tyrolean area. Uh, one uh, of the few regions which have experienced the two dictatorships, as I said before, being a victim and perpetrator at the same time, therefore. Then about the very much divided memory landscape, that is the monuments that conflicting nationalisms have generated and punctuate Bolzano, intending to be sites of competing narratives and, and, and which, by the way, survived uh, uh, every iconoclastic attempt, uh, giving us the opportunity to re-signify re them now. Thirdly, uh, I would like to stress the importance of historic, historical research carried out over the last decades in order to enhance our, uh, our knowledge and to reshape our remembrance culture. Erinnerungskultur, as, as, as the very consistent German term would be, then the reframings of the totalitarian monuments themselves, happening all in the, ten, in the 2010s, so very, very lately indeed. And finally, finally, I would like to address this, so what, in providing a, a, a very brief 
conclusion. The trauma, traumas of regional history, see uh, the, the region um, uh, situated on, on this uh, central Brenner corridor between Austria and, 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 and Italian ter territories. Uh, it's um, peripheral and central at the same time. And uh, it was, unfortunately, once it, it was and it, it, it is, is not uh, one of Europe's danger zones during the 20th century, highly contested between the powers struggling for dominance in the continental center. And up, up to um, uh, the end of World War I, this region was Austrian uh, and a bracket from the, of the former Kronland Tyrol and, and, and uh, and uh, with the dramatic collapse of, of the Habsburg monarchy, it uh, uh, has been annexed by Italy and enforced in, uh, after 1922, after the, the fascist seizure of power, uh, has forced into a severe Italianization program uh, du during the Ventennial. And this struggle led to a very much divided memory landscape, kind of a memory cleavage still visible today. So the city has a very divided land memory landscape. Uh, the main square, the center square of Pulsam is dedicated to the most talented in some way and, and, and best known German medieval minstrel, Walter von der Vogelweide, a poet from the 13th century. So it's, it's medievalism of sort and, and erected in the late 19th century. Uh, uh, the, the statue uh, is, is an identity symbol and, and an ethnic marker, a gatekeeper of Germanness. Uh, so it, it was intended then of Deutschtum, and, and it, it is marking a national border, an imagined one, uh, of course, to, to, to cite Benedict Anderson. And the statue in 1935 under Italian rule, under fascist rule, has been removed being a nuisance to the fascist program, not only to romanize the German speaking population, but also to profoundly reshape the public sphere and, and space. And um, it was a sort of, of recolonizing it, uh, for instance, with the Roman military commander Nero Claudius Drusus, the conqueror of the German, uh, Germanic provinces uh, during the Roman period. Even earlier, the square itself has been uh, rededicated to the Italian king. Uh, uh, so we have this shift from an, from an Austrian to an Italian memory. The unfinished Kaiserjäger memorial uh, uh, erected uh, to honor the, the, the Austrian soldiers of, of, of the province has been uh, torn down and, 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 and destroyed by uh, uh, by, by the fascists and, 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 and becoming the site of uh, the monument to victory erected by uh, the regime's chief architect, Marcello Piacentini in 1926 to 1928. Um, uh, 28, yeah. uh, a very disciplined temple uh, structure with, with lectorial columns sustaining a large ar arch bearing a victory, bus relief, and the monumental inscription telling this superiority of Latin civilization over all others, and having at its center a uh, risen Christ. So this, this is really the, this polygenetic vision of a reborn and renewed Italy, but also uh, a telling expression of the clerical fascist ideology. And uh, another example here, I, I will come back to the monument memory just shortly uh, again, but uh, transformations of sorts. You see the, the old Laum, the, the thoroughfare with, with the old uh, late medieval, early modern period arcades and the, the, the new fascists one, the, the, the arcades uh, constructed uh, for, for giants, so to, so to, uh, to, to speak for the new uh, uh, fascist uh, uh, civilization, uh, uh, even the appearance of the streets and squares would be subject to, to this uh, hegemonic designs. So both the late 19th century and the Ventennial, the fascist Ventennial in different ways, of course, were creating their mutually exclusive 
districts of memory. As the regime's project was meant to brand the city as Italian, not just as fascist, most German speakers became anti-fascist, but pro-Nazi, another contradiction of sorts here. So the signif significance of historical research would I would like to stress because it was the, the historical research carried out from the 1980s onwards, which uh, came uh, long before uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the reframing we were able to do in the, in, in the, in the, in the 2010s, uh, came to terms with uh, uh, such profound alterations of the urban space, but, but also of the society it, it itself. And, and led to a very unbiased uh, view of the regional history, addressing frankly and openly the heart of darkness here existing. You see some seminal works by Leopold Steuer, Südtirol, Zwischen Rom and Berlin, an exhibition of 1989 on the options, uh, option agreement between the two, two uh, dictators in, in order to, to carry out some sort of ethnic cleansing to, to and, and, and also um, um, a flourishing um, uh, review, Geschichte in Region, Storia, uh, der Regione, Bilingual, and, uh, uh, and um, providing a lot of, of, of original research. So there's no, uh, there's no more, uh, I guess, uh, um, an ethnocentric view of the 20th, 20th century here. Uh, there's no longer a German point of view juxtaposed to an Italian one at least within a whole generation of researchers. <laughs> the kickoff uh, happened in the 2010s. That's again the, the monument to victory. You see it was the site of military um, um, gatherings up to the 90s, uh, military, but also the site of, of protests carried out by the Schützen, which is a military corps of German-speaking uh, extremists, I would, I, I would like to say, uh, pro protesting against the, 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 the monument and calling for tearing it down, pretending, by the way, to be anti-fascists themselves, but neglecting that their predecessors and often fathers or grandfathers were still marching in 1944, 1945 under the swastika, but also extreme right-wing parties um, uh, trying to defend it, uh, neo-fascist uh, Italian flag in hand. Very Latin times, but also, oddly enough, interesting times, as Eric Hobsbawm would have said here. <laughs> Uh, a failed renaming in 2002 of the Victory Square into the, uh, a Peace Square um, operated by the, the Civic Council, but rejected by a large majority of the mainly Italian speaking towns and inhabitants who were afraid to lose Italianness altogether with the name changing. Um, in, uh, was, in my understanding, a uh, very instrumental in, in uh, 10 years later, um, this democratic defeat of 2002 uh, in, uh, uh, to the project, I had then the great opportunity to co-curate uh, 10 years. You see here uh, workmen workmen dismantling the signposts uh, you know, of the square. And, 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 and nowadays, um, very late, Bit down to the wire, isn't it? The 2010s, but uh, now nowadays the the, 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 the the civil society is reappropriating the premises. Uh, uh, you see the red ring uh, uh, fixed at on one of the columns, uh, um, uh, displaying the title of the permanent exhibition in in, in a sort of docu documentation center uh, uh, inside. Then. Uh, uh, displaying the title BZ uh, 1845, so the end dates of both world wars and indicating the main theme, one monument, one city, two dictatorships. So it's a regarding or it's intending to regard the whole of local society and its tricky history, uh, Italian and, and German fascism as well, 
and uh, addressing therefore very much the gray zones of victims becoming perpetrators and, 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 and vice versa. No more ethnic victimization here. And, and, um, and, um, and, 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 and um, uh, very importantly, people can now reappropriate the former locked up premises, the sacred area, touching what they were so long forbidden to touch, seeing for themselves. So it's uh, undoing things done. Uh, that, that's, that's, uh, uh, it, it was uncharted territory, I, I admit, uh, to, to uh, the historians uh, who uh, could do that. Uh, but uh, uh, it was naturally intersecting with artistic concepts, with aesthetic approaches as well. That's a look into the, the large basement of the, the, the document documentation center of the, uh, of the Monument to Victory. And there's also the address of uh, the multilingual uh, website here. In uh, reshaping the monument from 2013 onwards, and, 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 and an opening occurred in the summer of 2014, we, a group of historians and art historians, used this large uh, base area of the construction site providing a mix of textual, of visual and audio material, all displayed in different languages, of course. And um, uh, since the monument itself is characterized by a great variety of Latin inscriptions, we therefore operated in contrasting them without canceling them with counter quotations, for instance, by Bertolt Brecht, by Thomas Paine, by Hannah Arendt, and so on. So again, that's, uh, you see it's a very large interior, uh, which covers about uh, 750 square meters and, and offers a dozen segments all interconnected. In the last one, we also placed the former signpost, the original one of the short-lived Peace Square. In 2016, the exhibition got a special mention of uh, commendation provided by the European Museum of the Year, but and, and telling that the exhibition reintegrates a controversial monument, which has long served as the focal point of battles over politics, culture, and regional identity, uh, the project, and, and so on and so on. Um, many school classes, I would like to stress here, many school classes are using the premises, uh, being them freely accessible six, six days a week, almost regularly as a teaching and learning facility. <laughs> Reframings on, uh, occurred also uh, uh, regarding the, 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 the dark Nazi legacy we uh, laid out in 2015 um, stumbling stones, but uh, uh, essentially um, uh, we uh, had to deal with uh, the former concentration camp, the Polizeiliches Durchgangslager Bozen, active in 1944 and 1945, ruled by the SS with over 10,000 inmates. And, uh, oddly enough, very much forgotten after World War II and collectively removed. Too many turned a blind eye on it. And uh, its area was even overbuilt in the 60s and only from 25 uh, onwards, uh, artworks are recalling the sites where the deportations to the death camps in Germany and Poland took place and a memorial war erected in 2019 alongside the only remaining outer perimeter of the former camp, now under protection, remembers all the names of former captives we know of. It has been officially visited in the same year, in 2019, in a giant initiative by both states, presidents of Austria and Italy, uh, Mattarella and Van der Bellen. So I come now to the, the bus relief, the, the Mussolini freeze uh, in the Tribunal Square. It was completed in 1942 in the uh, 20th year of the fascist era as indicated on the bus relief itself. Photograph of course of the um, status quo ante. Um, here uh, uh, you see Mussolini, the Duce on horseback, uh, this Italian hyper masculinity, and, and uh, the equestrian uh, Duce is ruling his Mediterranean empire, conquered by military means in Eastern Africa and 
and and and and the freeze is basically uh, intended to be uh, an apotheosis of fascism, or uh, let me uh, um, put it in that way: uh, the fascism as how it wanted to be seen, uh, represented and 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 recounted gigantism of sorts, very racist, very anti-human, out of scale. All the half figures uh, of the freeze represent idle citizens obeying to Muslim orders between the horse legs uh, is affixed the fascist motto, credere, obedire, combatere, believe, obey, fight. And, and, and furthermore, Mussolini is surrounded by the abbreviation PNF uh, for Partito Nazionale Fascista, GUF, Gruppe Universitari Fascisti, and so on. The post-war debate in the regional post-war debate raged between preserving it as it stands, by critically covering it, or removing it. We, a group uh, of historians, I mean, I would say we uh, called instead for absolutely maintaining the bus relief, but explaining and re semanticizing it. And in uh, 2011, Remy has just uh, recorded that there has been a public call to artists and architects and also to the civil society, uh, with then unfortunately no winner declared in the end, but uh, offering among many submissions a very interesting proposal by Holzknecht and, and Bernardi, which the Joint Commission of the uh, just the Joint Commission of the Monument to Victory um, uh, project reassessed and reevaluated and proposed for the realization. It's the Hannah Arendt uh, quotation: "No one has the right to obey. Kein Mensch." Hat das Recht zu gehorchen, also displayed in Italian and in Latin, which is another Mediterranean language here, uttered by Hannah Arendt in the context of the Eichmann debate. But there are also info boxes on the square itself to, to explain the various significances uh, of the building, originally designed, at, uh, as we still know, the, uh, thanks to. Uh, as the headquarter of the National Fascist Party. And, and the artist and sculpture, oddly enough, but tellingly, was the South Tyrolean Hans Piffrad, a member of the PNF. And, uh, but the boxes are also, the info boxes are also addressing the wider urban context here, the Tribunal Square itself, and with it, the end of checks and balances as the fascist regime tried to, to, to realize here. Uh, and uh, with it, because here all separations of power were suspended, uh, being the headquarter uh, positioned in front of the tribunal. So <laughs> that's a, a very obscene vicinity. And um, passes by are uh, no longer so uh, left alone uh, in front of uh, these uh, remnants. They may remain, maybe a possibly, possibly a little bit confused, and and, and start to reflect themselves, and um, maybe they become also aware of the slight subversive, if not ironic, tone of Arendt's Arendt's counter sentence. You know, you would never laugh in front of a despot, but but now you can, and uh, he, uh, he hasn't the last word here. So it's a civilized way in humiliating, in belittling the tyranny and maybe every tyranny, every fascism. Let me stress another point here, arts and politics. Since the original freeze is also an artwork, uh, it is striking that contemporary artists have now been part of the reframing process. Uh, one of the defining features uh, claimed for installation art is that it requires the experience of the viewer or the visitor for its completion. So the installation invites or requires uh, the visitor to move about the work and to react and to digest what the site has to offer. So that is a sort of, of practice uh, you can experience by yourself. So which uh, a future. Uh, there is already the info boxes uh, which are this uh, uh, positioned in, in, in on the on the square. Which future uh, reactions and receptions? Uh, there has been a lot of positive reactions uh, to the regional approaches. 
uh, in this um, composite uh, in this composite uh, slide you 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 can see some of the uh, papers the, the books uh, book titles dedicated to the Bolzano remarkably the cover of the the, the, the very recent Routage companion companion to Italian fascist architecture dedicated the, the front cover to the to the uh, to the interior of the Monument to Victories exhibition. Uh, the great website of post-colonial Italy, um, uh, Neil McGregor, in his most recent book, Amont Nouveau, Nouveau Musées, published in 2021, referred in a rich chapter to the bas relief, deeming it a good example of a politique de reconciliation, as, as he, he, he called it. I, I myself don't know whether the Bolzano examples offer really a template for other communities divided over whether to tear down or keep up monuments or with such racist, imperialist or fascist connotations, at least, at least within the, the local uh, uh, communities, tensions over an undigested past have eased. There are no more rallies uh, in front both of the Monument to Victory and the Mussolini Freeze so frequent uh, up to recent uh, years. So uh, in my understanding, re-semanticization, re-codification is powerful. It is also beautiful in some way. It is uh, happy, <laughs> if you allow me that, uh, 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 that expression. Uh, former monuments with dark narratives, anti-human messages have uh, become places of learning and, 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 and reflection for the facilities due to a very dialectic turn. And, and uh, I think here historical elaboration could be helpful, uh, aesthetics is helpful in the end. I think it's uh, all about having an uh, honest conversation about legacies as toxic as they may be. But I think that's really my last uh, slide here. Uh, the creation, uh, the historization process uh, is never a one off thing. Uh, uh, even if some milestones uh, may have achieved, there is no finish line. It is a never ending and always risky process, of course. And uh, um, to come back once more to, to, uh, to, to read what a thought pro provoking quote Hannah Arendt's phrase is in, 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 in that regard, it, because it's here to, to tell that despots, that dictators never have the last word, they don't own their history. Instead, it's up, it's up to us, to the civil society, at least within a Republican and democratic framework, uh, uh, which we always have, of course, to defend ag against, against its opponents. In doing so, the former monuments of a heart of darkness and, and, and its horror to use the famous verse of Joseph Conrad can become in some way counter monuments. And that's, uh, uh, I guess, a uh, uh, nemesis. It's a, a humiliation that is very much deserved indeed by these monuments, but that's also their curse. They are no longer conveying their original messages of superiority, of blackmailing, of racism, but they carry now against their original intention, a counter message an opposite meaning. Hence, uh, I think these monuments finally lose their toxic identity and, to, and are allowed to live a second life, a live a life they uh, themselves would never really enjoy. And so at least it's my understanding, don't tear them down, give them a second chance, reframe them, re-semanticize them, and let them thereby undergo a symbolic and memorial metamorphosis. Because the public space is ours and we decide about its meanings in the very moment we are decolonizing it for the first time, uh, at least here in Bolzano. I thank you very much indeed.
we got a lot of support here um, um, in, in different way of, um, of uh, if Italian speakers or German speakers or Latin speakers and, and mostly from abroad also. But there's also a lot of indifference, of course. That, 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 uh, there's a, uh, and, 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 and there was also a, a, a critique uh, because uh, some said, don't touch them. They're, they are so beautiful. They are, that, that's the, 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 uh, the issue uh, Flaminia was uh, speaking about in this way that that's our Villa Tolonia. Don't 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 touch it. It's it, it, it's uh, um, uh, but in 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 the end, um, um, I, I think that that's a, it's a long process uh, uh, in reshaping also the the mentality and and and, and allowing people to uh, have. Uh, a new, fresh approach, and and being also disturbed maybe by that Hannah Arendt quote or or the Red Ring uh, or even the, the 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 exhibition in in the in the basement, that was also our intention. It 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 it, it, it isn't an, an easy approach uh, we are offering here. So it you you must take your time. You 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 are challenged. Of course, so with with your own dark history, there's there are a lot of gray zones because it, it's questioning your the, the, um, your own history. What did your fathers, your uh, your grandfathers and mothers do? How did they behave during Nazi fascism uh, and, and, and 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 so on? So it's an ongoing uh, process. It is very recent. There will be another session. This was the third of a series. Um, so we'll have uh, another session looking at the site like the Valley of the Fallen, which is also um, like uh, like has a lot of parallels actually also with what I've been discussed here. Uh, so it's also a mausoleum. Um, I would like to ask you perhaps to fill in uh, like the feedback poll and just about the next event that will be in spring. So we haven't had the exact date yet, but when we are also sharing the, uh, yeah, all the different examples of, art of, uh, of artistic interventions. Uh, then we will also share the dates and explain to you how to register. I would like to thank you very much for um, yeah, participating in this event and spending the time uh, with us. And again, um, the speakers.